guys, it's Kamari Vaughn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick Black Friday haul. This was actually my first year going Black Friday shopping. It's just not something that my family typically participates in, but I did want to experience it this year just to say that I've done it, you know. Experience the crowds, experience the sales. I don't know, it was just something I wanted to be a part of, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I got a couple things, not that much, so let's just get right into it. Here's so the first store that I went to was Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack is a store that I really, really love. And they recently opened one by my house and my friend kept telling me that they had so many great things there, I'm guessing, because at first it just opened. So I wanted to go there and see everything that they had. And the main thing that I was looking for was Uggs. And like I expected, they have most of the Uggs in either baby feet or super duper big feet and I wear between like a 7 and 8 in Uggs so of course that's the size everybody wears and I couldn't really find anything I liked in that size but I did end up getting lucky and I found a pair of Ugg slippers that I really really like. I've been looking at Ugg slippers since about sixth grade which is a long time I've always looked at them and I just never got them simply because I felt like they weren't worth the price so I got them at Nordstrom Rack for $69 and they're usually $110 so that's really good the next thing that I got from Nordstrom Rack was a bunch of clothing items that I needed for winter undergarments and sweatpants that's really what my focus is on this winter because you can never go wrong with having too much of that. My favorite buy at Nursery Rack were these Nike jogger sweatpants. They're like cuffed at the bottom and everything. Just some basic joggers. And Nike stuff is usually really, really expensive. And these were, these were $29 at the Nordstrom Rack and they're typically $45. So I had no issue paying for that simply because it's a really good discount. So if you guys didn't know, I am a part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee and there's no shame in my game. So I typically prefer to wear sports bras versus real bras simply because they're just too uncomfortable and it's just no point for me to go to that go through that hassle. So I just like to wear basic Calvin Klein sets. They're comfortable, they're really, really good quality, and they're cheap in my opinion. So I got a lot of Calvin Klein. So the first thing that I got was this gray Calvin Klein sports bra. And these are just the basic little Calvin Klein that everybody has. And to match that, I got just some boy shorts. I'm not a big fan of thongs and bikinis and all that extra stuff. That's just doing too much to me. And I don't like it. And then I found this really, really cute gray and pink one and also got a matching bottom for that and actually came like a double matching bottom set so it came with two um boy shorts for the price of one and then the last one that i got was this pink one trimmed in gray which is my favorite color so i absolutely love it and then I couldn't find the bottom to match it exactly, so I'm just going to ballpark it and match these little striped ones that my mom found with it. And all of those sets were in between $6 and $13, so that's really, really good. That's everything that I got from the Nordstrom Rack, so now we're going to move on to what I got from the mall. The first store that I went to at the mall was Papaya. I don't really feel like this is like a nationwide store. It's a really, really cheap store though. They're always having sales of some sort and I was still looking for more sweatpants for the winter time. So that's what I got from Papaya. The first sweatpants I picked up were just these basic gray joggers. I've been in love with just sweatpants just because they're simple and easy for me to put on and they were $13.99. And then I found these really, really cute joggers that have love going on the side and then it has like sequin in it I don't know how to really show you guys and then it has sequin right there and those were $15.99 and then when we got to the register they had like a little scratch off thing for you and that would tell you like how much of a discount you would get like 10% 15% 
30 and so on and I got 10% off so I was really good and I was really surprised by that so you know now we're gonna pass up a deal and the next store and actually the last store was forever 21 and I only got like two things from there so Forever 21 for me is always a store that's either like a hit or a miss. Like either I'm going to love everything I see or I'm just going to hate it. So I only found two things that I liked in there. The first thing was this like knit crop top and then it has like buttons going all the way down. This was only $10.90. And then I actually found some really cute olive pants in clearance and they were only $7.00. So that's really good and I was like is something wrong with these pants because we have some detailing right here but I just kind of assumed that something would be wrong with them since they were so cheap in clearance but nothing was wrong with them they're perfectly fine so that was all I got from my Black Friday shopping so just to kind of give you guys a summary of my thoughts of my very first Black Friday will I go again I honestly don't think so simply because I feel like this, the deals for Black Friday are more so in like Target, Walmart, for like electronics, appliances. I don't really feel like those apply to me right now and I don't really feel like I got as great of deals as people always brag about when it comes to Black Friday so I feel like I just went through all of those crowds for nothing but at least I can say that I experienced it for one year and I am glad that I found the sales that I did find and I mean, I had a great time with my friends. So, hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys did some Black Friday shopping, let me know what you guys got down below in the comments. I would love to hear it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.